all the world's a stage. And all the men and women nearly players. Women nearly players. Women nearly players. Well, they have their exits and their entrances and, and one- one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. At first, the infant mewling and- Mewling and puking into the nurse's arms. Then the whining schoolboy with satchel and shining morning face. Schoolboy? Creeping like snail unwillingly to school. And then the lover. And then the lover. The lover. Sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made, made to his mistress's eyebrows. A soldier full of strange oaths bearded like the Hard. Jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then the justice in fair round belly with good cape and lines, with eye severe and beard of foam cut, full, full of, of wise saws and in modern instances. And so he plays his part. <laughs> The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippery pantaloon. Pantaloon. With spectacles on nose, pouch on side. side. His youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk shank. And his big, big manly voice. Turning again towards childish trouble. Pipes. Pipes and whistles in his sound. Okay. Last scene of all, which ends this strange and eventful history is... Second childishness. And near oblivion. Near oblivion. Near oblivion. Sans teeth. Sans teeth. Sans eyes. Sans eyes. Sans taste. Sans taste. Sans everything. Everything. Sans everything. Sans everything.